Uh, so Lennox, we're here at the Banksy Stadium, home of Warsaw Football Club. Um, here for obviously your bout, the British Bronze Masters title, February 21st. How much are you looking forward to the Yeah, fight? I'm looking forward to it now. It's time to step up in the new year. So yeah, looking forward to it. I suppose in terms of training, you'll be up in the intensity in the next few weeks? Yeah, we're just going to start our first uh, part of my training camp now, yeah, after Christmas. So. Um, last time out, you went the distance against Jamie Ambler. Is it Ambler? Yeah. Um, how much did you learn from that fight? Because you're always looking for more rounds from your opponents. That's what it is, yeah. Well, I got the rounds out now, so now, now I know I'm ready to step up. Yeah. Is it become a problem trying to find an opponent who lasts the rounds with you? Is it? Is well, it yeah, it has been, yeah, from the last couple of fights, because uh, I don't think they really want to fight me at the moment. So, yeah. I mean, Dan Blackwell this time around, how much do you know about him and what will he bring to the fight? Well, his game, you know what I mean, he comes to have the row, which is good for me, because he's going to walk on to something. Um, I watched him fight my mate Andy Robinson, he gave it a good test. He gave him a good test, so he's going to give me one, but uh, I will be the winner. Um, I mean, he's only been stuck once in his career, so again, a durable opponent for you. Um, is it another opportunity to get more rounds under your belt, especially given it's eight three-minute rounds? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. I'm not going to go for the stoppage, but uh, if it comes, it comes. Um, for you though, three stoppages um, from your six fights so far, do you think it'll be your the power of your punches that will probably cause him the most problems? Well, I'm not going to go out there looking and start loading up with power, so uh, if it comes, it comes, yeah. Many see you as a, obviously a real prospect now yeah. for the future, given your record so far, but you know, how do you reflect on, on your pro, pro, pro career, six fights under your belt already, three stoppages, how do you reflect on, on the progress you've made so yeah, far? Yeah, my first year it's been a good year, but I'm hoping to make bigger and better progress in the new year coming now. Yeah, hopefully get more titles and uh, a few more stoppages. But obviously, the longer this unbeaten record goes on, fighters yeah. are going to be eyeing you up thinking they want to be the first to stop, you know, Lennox. So yeah. does that have a play into your mind? You know, people nah, could be nah. gunning for you in the future. No, nah, I don't think of that. If anything, I'm gunning for them. You know what I mean? So I'm not bothered now. Um, for people watching this who aren't familiar with Lennox Clark, who haven't seen you fight before, yeah. what can they expect on February 21st? Oh, they can explore. It's not what they're going to expect. I'm definitely going to get the win. So that's what you're going to see. You're going to see a good win and good star. Whether it's a win by points or stoppage, I'm still going to get it. Now, I was here a few months back when your younger brother was here yeah. um, in the bank, in the, the Bonza suite. I know you were there too, I think, yeah, yeah, watching yeah. at ringside. But, I mean, tell us a little bit about his career. I know it was his very first fight on the night, I think. Yeah, yeah, and he performed well. He's had a, his second fight since that, and he's, he's, he's done everything asked of him, so he's like me as well, he's going to be uh, tackling the new year, and he'll do it well. I suppose there's no better big brother to have to give him nah, the advice nah, when, nah. He, when he comes asking. Yeah. Um, I mean, first fight of 2015 this one, but what does 2015 and, and the near future hold for you? Have you got any targets, any objectives? Not really, man, just to keep winning, that's the main aim. Finally, I mean, if Dan Blackwell's watching this, what's the message for him? Well, he's got to know I'm ready. And he needs to be ready, so uh, it's going to be a good scrap.